Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be figuring out if increasing the KV of our brushless motor increases the speed that we get out of our radio control car. Now I have that exact question for the 1.8 scale buggy that I have in front of me. Can I go from this 2200 kV motor, switch to this 2650 kV motor to increase the speed of my radio control car? That's what we're going to be answering in this video. Now I do want to point out that this radio control buggy, even though we're going to be talking primarily about radio control cars, the same exact principle would apply to a radio controlled airplane or even a radio controlled boat for example. Now before we dive into the content for this video, I do want to bring your attention to the Patreon page that we introduced last week. Tiers are now available on the Patreon page, which include specific perks as well as benefits. This can be ranging anything from Patreon exclusive posts to sneak peek videos about anything that's upcoming, as well as even a Discord chat channel that can be used to communicate, ask those specific questions that you need to get answered for any of the fans. I'll leave a link in the description below. Make sure you go ahead and check that out. Now let's talk about how we know we can increase the speed of a radio controlled car. Well, very simply, we know that if we increase the axle speed, which means our tires rotate quicker, that is exactly what's going to get us faster speeds. We need to increase the rotational speed of those tires in order to go any faster. It's that simple. Now let's take a look at how we relate the KV as well as the voltage to the total amount of output RPM that we get out of our motor. If we have, for example, that 2200 KV motor, we're going to get that 2200. We want to multiply it by the nominal voltage in order to arrive at the total output RPM. We take the 2200, multiply it by the 14.8, and we get a total amount of RPM of around the 32,000 mark. Now if we take that 2650 kV motor and multiply it by the 14.8 volts, we're going to arrive at a total RPM of 39,000. Now it's quite obvious that the 39,000 is higher than the 32,000 that we have on the 2200 kV motor, therefore telling us that we get more rotational speed out of the higher kV motor. The next question for us to ask is, what does that higher motor RPM actually get for us? Well, we know that with higher output RPM, we have the potential to deliver more power. And more power does mean for us that we can have the ability to hit higher top speeds. Now the big thing here is that power is not free. You do have to pay for it. And you have to pay for it in something known as heat. So let's take a look at exactly what makes up power. Power is equal to the voltage multiplied by current, which is measured in amps. And if you look at voltage, we know that we're using the same voltage in both of our motor cases, the 2200 as well as the 2650. Therefore, if we want to increase the power output, we have to increase the current output. If we are able to get more current out of our brushless motor, we are gonna make more power driving our vehicle faster. So the question of does KV actually make our radio control car faster, the simple answer is yes it does. But here's where the problem lies. What happened if I told you that that 2200 KV motor is already at its or near its maximum thermal limit? What happens if I also told you that that 2650 kV motor is actually smaller in length? It is smaller in length by about eight millimeters or so. Does that change the answer for us? Well, it probably should. Knowing that the 2200 kV motor is already at its maximum thermal limitation, we know that if we go and ask for any more power out of that can size, it's simply not going to be able to deliver it. And if it does, it's not going to deliver it for too long until it overheats and burns away on us. This would ultimately be the point of the video that yes, KV does increase the speed of your car, but also keep in mind that you need to know you have the room to actually be able to dissipate that waste heat that you're now going to generate because increasing the KV is increasing the total amount of power output that you expect and are going to demand out of that radio controlled vehicle. So the question is, when can you increase the KV of your motor and expect that you're gonna get faster speeds out of it? Well, in order to increase the KV of your motor, you need to know that 
thermally, the motor that you're currently using is okay. You have room to go and increase the total amount of power that you get out of that can size. If you can increase the total amount of power that you can get out of that can size, then you can go ahead and increase the KV value. However, you don't want to go and take a KV value and multiply it by two and hope that you're going to have everything be okay. You really need to know the total RPM range that you have within your radio controlled vehicle. If you look at the gear ratio as well as the tire size, the overall specifications of your vehicle, that is what's determining the RPM range. I can give you a perfect example in radio control boats. If you tried to go with a motor that delivers 50,000 to 55,000 RPM for a radio control boat, it is well outside the practical range for a radio control boat. There is simply not going to be an effective propeller that's going to give you everything you need in an easy package for you to go and deliver. Is it possible? yes but for the average user it's going to be extremely difficult to use that rpm range therefore you got to know what kind of range to work within now back to our car example as long as we go and select a kv that is going to give us total rpm output within that range that we talked about we're going to be okay for a setup that we can increase the overall speed output as long as we get that set up as well as our thermal limit of our motor that is going to give us the most chance for success now once you install that motor with a higher KV, you want to make sure that you're checking all your thermal limits of the motor, the speed control, as well as your lithium polymer battery pack, just to make sure you're not exceeding any of those limitations. Now there are other options you have to increase the speed of your radio controlled car. What you can do instead, and probably one of the most cost effective solutions, if you have headroom within your brushless motor, as well as the rest of your power system, you can increase the speed reliably. And that is just by simply changing the gear ratio moving up to a larger pinion gear as well as even a smaller spur gear can alter the gear ratio in such a way where we can greatly increase the axle speed of our tires and as long as we do that we already know that we're going to increase the speed as an overall value for our radio control car. Now we do have other options such as increasing the voltage. That's exactly what's going to happen in this system. In fact, I did have the 2650 kV motor being used in this system. And what happened is, is I was getting really close to that thermal limit that is on my comfort zone. I don't want to ever operate exactly at that limit. I want to operate below that limit. And right now I'm at that point where I don't want to go and exceed and increase the temperature anymore. Therefore, gearing as well as going to a higher KV in this can size is no longer an option. So the thing that I have to do is step up to a larger motor to get more speed out of this vehicle. When I end up stepping up to a larger motor, what I found is that the KV drops. That KV option of 2650 is no longer available. What ends up happening is I get a KV of 2200 and that is okay going with a lower KV value. As long as I increase the voltage, I can get back to that overall RPM that I want to get out of the motor, which is going to be a little bit more than this other motor offered me. And then I can also alter the gear ratio in the transmission to make sure that I hit the target that I want to hit. Overall, I know that this system is going to provide me with more power output. However, I'm also managing the current in this system as well. When you jump up to another voltage value, you also are going to increase the current unless you do something about your gear ratio or the KV. You have to play around and balance all those parameters out because what ultimately can destroy your system is running too much current through it. Current is always what leads to heat. So there you have it. We learned that KV does in fact increase the speed of our radio controlled car. But the big point of this video is that we are also paying attention to the other limitations that can get us in trouble and ultimately destroy our power system. Like the video if you do, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that I can see you in that next video. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next Monday.